I'll see you down there. All right, good morning, guys. It's Steve out here on the third day of the Bullard Bard Boys annual three-day bass fishing trip here on Bullard's Bar. I appreciate that you watched day one and day two. I am so sorry for the cameras. Uh, you know, I had issues with the cameras. I loaded up uh, the update and it raced the firmware and extended batteries wouldn't work on three of them. Then yesterday I put on the maxes on this boat, 360 in the back. I have the regular facing forward in the front and then my battery runs out after about four hours. So I never even got to say goodbye yesterday. My apologies. I think I got today worked out. Both cameras seem to be working fine. Battery life is 100%. And we are headed west today. I was right out of a dark day boat ramp. And I'm gonna be heading west. I'm going out to the main channel. And I'm specifically working big gray rocks. Right now, the fish are eating bluegill. Yesterday I caught two or three that literally regurgitated bluegill. And uh, the, I'm the, only place, the only thing I could think of is that the bluegill have one place to hide and that's in those rocks. The bass know it. They head over there, they feed up. And I met them yesterday. I ended up catching five keepers. I caught more than five keepers. I culled two. And my, uh, my limit for five was like 69 and a half inches. Which, you know, I was hoping to do like 75. I lost the fish that looked like about 18 inches right off the side of my boat. And uh, that might have done it. That might have uh, that might have put me in the 70s. And uh, anyway, I lost a couple others I thought were good fish too. So, you know, 14, 15 maybe. So today, you know what? I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm going with the luck. And uh, let's see if we can't do a 75 inch. I'll be... I'll be measuring every measurable fish. We'll cull out the big ones. We're gonna fish today for about five hours, five and a half hours, 12, 12.30. The time right now is, what time is it? It's 6.45. The sun will be coming up from behind us. And uh, I'm gonna head from here. I'm gonna head all the way down to the marina, towards the marina. And I'm gonna fish that far cove, that far arm, and look for these big gray rocks is that's where the fish are holding. Everywhere I crossed over it, the graph is just going off the charts with spaghetti balls underneath the, down near those rocks. So that's what I'm going to do today. We have about, oh, I don't know, maybe about a 30 minute ride ahead of us. So I'm glad you're with me. Let's go do it. Starts looking like spaghetti on on the screen. You know that you know that you're in the right area. I'll show you what I'm looking at. So here's what I'm looking at. These are these fish here. I've just got here, literally. I cast my bait and they, they came right down to it. And that's what I'm looking at. That's not spaghetti, but it will be. I'll make sure to photograph it when we get when we get wild scenes going on. Oh, got a little one on. Nope, he's off. He's off. Oh, he's on there. Oh, he's off now. <laughs> Look at that worm. He must have had it for 10 minutes. All right.
That was crazy. He had it for the longest time. I'm surprised I didn't hook him. There's the spaghetti I was talking about right there. There's a whole school of fish down here. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Now. that's what I'm looking at right there and they're in they're in here I'm gonna get bit real quick so I'm gonna get off of this I go whoa finally that took forever they're all in here you got to come in closer God, the hook just fell out of his mouth. You're in about 50 feet of water. They're not out that far. Twelve and a half. That one? Twelve and a half. Okay, little fish. Took the skunk out, but God, they're fat. They're fat. Fatties, man. Sun. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking the same thing. The bite might even be better over there because the water's warming up. I don't know. I don't know what is going to turn these fish on. There, there are literally hundreds of fish here, all the way up and down this rock wall. That's why I've been sitting here so long. Do what now? You going to the other side? Yeah. Are you gonna you're gonna work your way down to the corner? Yeah, what? I'm gonna work down. I'm gonna then I'll cross over down there. I'll see you down there. I'm freezing. I just I just know that these fish are gonna come on here anytime. At least I think they are. Sun feels good, man. And it's cold this morning. Now I'm blind.
so strong. These fish are so strong. That's a pretty good fish here. Where's this place? Oh, yeah. Big fish of the weekend. You can. Oh. It's definitely measurable. Let's see what we got here. That is a good one. Hello, Mr. Spot. You look like a healthy little fish. Look at the look at the belly on these things. They're getting to be so fat. 14 and a half. Man, oh man. Hopefully the bite's gonna start coming on because it has just been slow. There's a million fish under here. Let's see if we can't get another one interested. After the second bass, I managed to get snagged almost every cast. I did catch a few dinks, but nothing I could measure on the board. I went as far as the main arm of the lake, and I had the same luck there. It was time to head in. All right, guys, hey, I'm headed in. My front camera went out. The GoPros were not good to me on this trip. But I think I got some good footage. Today, the report on today is real simple. I think there's a low front moving in, and these fish just went off the bite. Right, last, the last 10 bites I had were like pecks. They were just grabbing the worm. It wasn't really a committed uh, bite. But it was still beautiful to be out here. I'm, I'll, I'll be back again next year. That's how much I enjoy it up here. And uh, just wanted to say thanks for joining me this uh, this week, not uh, weekend. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. You know that. All right. Y'all be safe out there. Have fun always. 